Created by Roger Hartridge. Written and illustrated by Kate Girls Forever. Mr. Scatterbrain is a person who at times is a bit forgetful. Literally. Like for one example, when he was going for a walk, he forgot to close his door. And on the times when he was making lunch, he forgets to turn the stove off. And he burns his eggs. And he forgets to water the plants. In a minute, he turned on the hose and ended up flooding the house. So, you can tell that with him, he forgets about everything. While not quite everything, there is one thing he never forgets. It was his sister, little Miss Scatterbrain. She is like her brother, if not worse. But that was another story which you have may read. Every year, he always comes to see her on her birthday. As even she forgets about it. He went by car on Wednesday. Later, on Little Miss Scatterbrain was running late. Why is that? Well, there were a lot of forgetful moments. He went by so much that even Little Miss Scatterbrain wouldn't notice be him being late. But, well, eventually find out about them soon. Mr. Scatterbrain finally arrived to her house. As she walks out to greet him, through, she didn't really know if that was the right time to see him. Oh, what brings you here? She asked. I didn't think I would call you to see me. Of course, said Mr. Scatterbrain. Then he started to explain everything to her. One time, when he was on his way, he was thinking about what to give her. It has been an hour at that one moment, but then he stopped when he saw a market, and he decided to park his car and go inside the market to look for at something. The lady in the market saw him and asked the question. Is there anything I can do for you, sir? Um, Mr. Scatterman responded, thinking about what to say. Flowers? The market lady scratched her in confusement. Um, sir, this is uh, the market. Oh, silly me, laughed Mr. Scatterman. He forgot about things. I was forgetting about things. I see, said the market lady. I'd like two, please, said Mr. Scatterbrain said. Flowers? The lady asked. Flowers, agreed Mr. Scatterbrain. The lady had to manage to explain, and then Mr. Scatterbrain went off somewhere else. He went to, to the flower shop. The owner of the shop saw him and the stand. Hello, what can I get for you? The owner said, I like Mr. Scatterbrain trying to figure out what he was going to say. Um, gifts? Gifts? The owner questioned. Like, you want a gift out of flowers? No gifts, Mr. Scatterbrain corrected. The owner was confused about the request. She received, oh, well, there's a gift shop next door. You want Something instead of flowers? Okay, said Mr. Mr. Scatterbrain, and went next door. At the gift shop, he talked to the manager. What brings you here, sir? He asked. Mr. Scatterman starting to spend time thinking about what he was going to say to the manager. Fruits! Fruits! He requested. The manager chuckled a little. Pardon me? But this is a gift shop. We don't have any fruits. Mr. Scatterbrain scratched his head and thought of asking something as Vegetables? he asked. Oh dear sir, the man responded. We don't sell any vegetables either. You you have bread? Mr. Scatterbrain asked in concern. H how about milk, sausage, cake, sweets, marmalade? The manager was getting furious. 
Listen, good sir, there is no food in the gift shop. If you're only looking for some food, go to the supermarket. He pointed to the same market Mr. Scatterbrain had went. Mr. Scatterbrain decided to leave the gift shop and gave up. Poor Mr. Scatterbrain. He didn't know what to do. He had nothing to give and nothing to get Little for little Miss Scatterbrain. Oh dear, he said to himself. I might never find to anything to give my sister on her birth and birthday this year. He felt like giving up, but then he thought of something and fought, and he had an idea. He smiled and drove off in his car again. He finally got himself a present as he was with someone whom we might worry about later to help him out on getting something that anyone would you see would definitely like a happy with he thanked his friend for it and finally went to see his sister and that was how it all went it turned out as the in the end he just thought of making her a present instead of buying her one she opened the present and you guess what it is it was a sign and it said buttercup cottage like it was supposed to be a name of the cottage she lived in oh my said little miss scatterbrain said that looks nice i didn't know i would like something like this i didn't remember that was even the name of my home i know that mr scatterbrain responded let's put the sign in front oh oh my word look at what those two did this probably runs in the family later it was time for mr scatterbrain to leave look at the time i must be going he said he dashed to his car goodbye little miss scatterbrain goodbye mr scatterbrain responded little miss scatterbrain see you another year or two it may be hard to believe that if they would meet again and even saying that doesn't change that she can't forget about it but in reality she can forget more on her own